excuse me. A foolish man. This man. This man. You better hurry, you. You better hurry. Let's do what we have to do. I'm not refunding any check to anybody. I'm not refunding any check to anybody. Business associate here, mm -hmm. Zeuche. Chief Uche has been coming here for years and has practically watched you grow from a young girl in secondary school to a woman in university. To God be the glory, today you're a graduate. We both decided that he will visit today with his first son, Michael. Michael here is a good and humble boy. He is an epitome of success in every ramification of life and most of all he is every woman's dream so you can see today's visitation is not by coincidence we planned it to bring the both of you our children together to see if you like yourself and if something good can come out of this we will be the happiest parent on the face of the earth to see the two of you end up liking each other and eventually getting married because then you will not be married in another home it will be like marrying in your own home a royal family just like our own where Michael's father and mother will be your father and mother and will love and treat you like their own daughter so Adora here is Michael Uche Michael here is Adora Obi my princess. You're beautiful. You should have told me to help you carry these. Are they not heavy? No, not at all. There is no problem in carrying them. But that is what I want to do the rest of my life. To help you with stuff. Sit down. After you? Uh, no. I want to get you something to eat and drink. What would you like to have? Well, um, I'll leave that to your discretion. Anything you give me, I'll take. Mm. Okay.
What do I give to him? What did he ask for? He asked for nothing. He said I should use my discretion. And uh, is that how Sutos behave? Adora. You should come to self lucky that you're dealing with a Sito. Sutos are easier to deal with than husbands because husbands take over your life. So what do you think would be good enough for your man? Um, I want to give him ice cream first, then food later. Yes, my man. Is he my man? <laughs> of course, he's your man. I would rather brother becomes another woman's man. Mm -hmm. Adora, your father and I knew we were going to like each other. So we're not wrong. So, sir, give him anything that you think would be good enough for you. Eh? Okay. <laughs> What's the craziest thing you've ever done? Nothing really. Think oh. Except the days I overslept and I was late for school. When I was in secondary school. You call that crazy? Yes. Sure? This is crazy. Yes, you are really crazy. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> can you swim? Oh. Not really, but I can try. Okay. But <laughs> oh, you want to swim? Michael. 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 Michael! Michael, stop it! Michael! Excuse me. Sorry. So you want to join me? No. Why? No. no. Why? No. Let's, let's go. No! Adora! Ada! Mommy? Michael is here. Mm. Michael, come on. Did you tell me? Mm. 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 Adora. Something I want to ask you in your house and in the presence of your parents. Will you marry me? Yes. Your daughter. Adora, meet your father. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, my daughter. Welcome to my family. Your mother is here too. You're welcome. It's Michael. This is your wife. Daughter, this is your husband. Okay. Yes. Um plan to have your wedding in Cyprus 
all expenses will be on me. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> yes. That's the way it's supposed to be. Yeah. Now, let me bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, I call upon you at this hour, as it pleases you that your children will be gathered together as husband and wife. Father, may all their dreams come true in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, as they come together for the first time in their lives as husband and wife, the way they should be. So it will take a miracle for her to get pregnant. But I'm not God. Anything can still happen. Doctor, in front of you is my result test. So please talk to me with letters. Will I ever get pregnant or not? That is what I'm saying. You see, medically it is impossible for you to get pregnant due to a malfunction in your fallopian tubes. Doctor, um, is there any way this can be corrected? I mean, surgically or any other way? Is there any solution at all? Actually, the answer is no. Such problems cannot be surgically remedied. Doctor, can this be kept here? Please, um, I, I don't want anybody outside this room to know about it. That's our parents, her parents and my parents, please. It's okay, that's not a problem. Uh, nobody will hear about it. I'll keep your secret. Let me take my wife home now. I don't think she's in the right frame of mind. I can see. Adora, please take it easy. Hmm? Such knowledge is bound to make anybody unhappy but the most important thing is life you can adopt a child and love him or her just like your own this is all in the mind hmm? take it easy yeah? You are already adding a lot to what we are going through. Please don't do this. No, no. Don't do 
don't even stop me. I'm being adequate, okay? You were there when the doctor said it. My tubes are messed up. I can't give you a baby. Of which use is my continued stay in this house. Very soon, your parents will get tired of me. They will ask you to marry another wife to give them grandchildren. Even if you would get tired of me, let me go. Uh, um, I'd like to see your girl look. What is your name? Adora. We went to the same school way back. I don't know if you will remember me. Tell him, Adora, that I used to insult him anytime he's organizing one of those parties for politicians where they need lots of girls. Adora, that was in business management department. That he used to call difficult Adora. Okay, wait a minute. Let me check if he's in. Look, you have not changed one bit. Oh, how will I? You are still the same old Ogalu that is chasing all the fine girls on campus. Ah, Adora, what do you expect? Maybe pimp a bee. Not pimp a bee. They say bring 100 girls for the party, and 400 girls and bring them for the party. Sometimes even more. Mm -hmm. You see, thank God all the girls were in like you. All right, I'm going to have a seat. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you're looking very beautiful. I hope you're married now. Yes, I'm married. Oh, praise be to God. Any child? N no child, yes. Oh, God will give you, okay? Yeah. God will surely give you. I mean, if all these bad girls in campus, they used to do abortion at least once or twice a month to get married and have children, why won't God give you? Oh, God will surely give you, okay? Amen. Don't worry. Oh God, look, mm. it is those bad ones that God blesses more. I don't know why. They marry early. They have kids early. They don't have any problems in their life. But we that married as virgin, no sure. But I'll still be good. No matter what it does to me or how it tastes me. Oh no, keep praying. Keep praying, okay? The same God that gave you husband will give you a child, okay? God times is the best. Trust him. Hmm? Um, okay, look. Yeah. Do you still do that same old business <laughs> that you old girls up with men? <laughs> Adora, work in this country. Not tell Work in this country. No. I do my same old business. And I'm enjoying it. Trust me, there is no business like one business. It is the best business. Oh, God, look. Oh. I have a problem. Yeah, you're crying. That's why I came to see you. Oh, come on, why? Don't cry. Oh, stop crying, stop crying, stop crying, bro. Oh. Whatever it is, so I got a solution, okay?
Yeah. I woke up and you were not here. Sorry. I've been dying and dying with you, but you're not here. You yeah. got me worried. I don't need anything to But, uh, happy wedding anniversary. Oh my god! Typical of me, I forgot. I'm so sorry, Dad. No, no, so <laughs> I just want you to know that for the past four years, it's been the best years of my life. You are my life, my wife, my love, my best friend, my sister, and everything that comes with it. Every time I'm down and I wake up in the morning and I see your face, trust me, I get uplifted again. So I decided to get you this beautiful dress. Hope you like it. Baby, what's wrong? Why are you crying? Sweetheart, all I do is receive gifts from you. Every Christmas, every wedding anniversary, every Valentine, every holiday. But I still can't give you one thing I really wish to give to you. Why? But I'm not complaining, Adora. No, that's why it's painful. I wish you were complaining so I would know where I stand. This is where you stand, Adora. In my heart. Okay, so don't worry, okay? Okay. Alright, so let's celebrate. Mm. <clears throat> eh? Have some champagne. Four years is really nothing. It feels like yesterday when my son gladdened my heart by marrying my best friend's daughter. Oh. <laughs> Four years ago, I made the best decision of my life. Hmm. <laughs> Adam the king. Adam. Adam Ganga. Ain't you proud? Hmm? Ain't you proud that such a declaration of contentment is coming from your husband? Anything is bothering my daughter in law. I better find out and take care of it fast. Excuse me. Michael, did you worry with her before we came in? Michael, my son in law, please eat your food. Eat your food. We all know that what is bothering Ada is an open secret. Doesn't she always go like this when you shower praises on her? Ah, please, it's okay. It's your food, okay? It's your food. My daughter, you cannot question God. And no one can. He is still God and lives in heaven and directs the affairs of men here on earth. I know in no distant time that he will wipe away our tears. He's going to put smiles on our faces. Please, don't worry, okay? Come to the table. Everybody's worried about you. Thank you, mother. You're welcome. Let's go. She wants to kill herself because she has not given us a baby. And despite that, Michael is praising her to high heavens. Uh-uh. Oh. What is wrong with either of you? 
It is true I, I want to carry my own grandchild in my own arms. But I am patient enough to wait until the day it happens. And it will come in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I am serving a living God. I am Adora's mother. I am not barren. I mean, I wasn't barren. I carried her in, her, in my womb and gave back to her. So I see no reason why my own child should not bear fruit. My daughter will bear fruit. She will bear fruit at God's own time in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I don't wish like this for you. I have a my day for she for club. Do I look to you like a lesbian? Auntie Oz, may you run as in job, may you run come on, Camilla, may you run to move fast in that way. I told her she would not talk to you. You see, these girls, I mean, they're not here for women. They're here for men. And uh, for a woman to um, try to convince them of something, it won't work. So what do we do now? Well, 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 um, I think you should still look around and uh, make a choice. And this time, rest assured that I'll bring her to my house. And um, you meet her tomorrow morning and then uh, you will talk to her. That particular girl is very strict. She's the strictest among all the girls that come here. Oga, okay, look. I like her. Despite everything, I don't mind. But my problem is, I think it's going to take a while for us to convince her. And I don't have such time. My husband has been calling me to know my whereabouts. He would not eat if I'm not home. He will not eat if I'm not there, and I will not eat if he's not there too. Very impressive. Um, so do you mean uh, married people still I mean, love each other like that these days? I mean, I thought uh, such born in marriage ended back in the days of our parents. That is how we have built our own. We live like that and love like that. Even this thing I'm doing, he doesn't know about it. And he's not bothered because he trusts me. Because he knows I'm still going to tell him at the end of the day. Hmm. Okay, well, um, in that case, let me just uh, see you up to your car. And uh, leave everything to me, okay? You just come to my house tomorrow and uh, she'll be there and ready to talk to you. I know that girl, she's difficult, but uh, I can handle it. You know, trust me. Ogaluk, are you assuring me? Oh, yes, why am I called Ogaluk? I am the master of this game. Deborah, when you knew me, I was having my bachelor's in pimping business. Now I'm a doctorate degree holder in this business. I'm in large and in charge. Come tomorrow morning. I'll make sure.
it's not just going to be for one night. You're going to stay in our house until my husband gets you pregnant. If you agree, I'll give you a posted check of 1.5 million naira. That's your cash Monday next week. That's after you have spent the first few weeks in my house. When you get pregnant, I'll give you 5 million naira, making 6.5 million naira. You stay in my house till you give back to the baby. I'll give you another 5 million naira and take the baby. You go your way and contract is over. And God will bless you wherever you go for cleaning the tears and shame of a childless mother in this world. And to you, Ogaluk, I have a check of 600,000 for making the hook up. I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am. I have to ask, your husband, is he in on this? I mean, is he in support? Mary, you are my only obstacle. If you say yes to me, convincing my husband will not be a problem. Yes, um, Adora, are you sure of this? How sure are you? 100% sure. Very well then. But you're asking for nine months of my life in exchange for 11.5 million. I think you should make it 15 million. Um, 15 million Naira is not too much for me to give to you for what you want to do for my sister. As I talk to you, the money is coming from my pockets and my husband knows nothing about it. But when you give back to the baby, I'm assuring you, giving you the difference of 3.5 million naira will not be a problem. Is that a deal? Yes, it's an agreement. Okay, my too, um, I would have uh, wished that you add uh, 400,000 to make it 1 million. You know. Okay, okay, look. I'll give you 600,000 naira check. And I'll give you 400,000 on Monday. Good. As far as I'm concerned, this deal is sealed. On Friday, Mary will come to your house. Okay? And everything will go as planned. Not so, Mary. Um, yes, yes. On, on Friday, I'll be at your place. But I would rather prefer to get my weekend bag and bring it here while she picks me up from here. Okay, then. And um, before I forget, I would like to take you for HIV screening sometimes next week. If you're negative, then it's a deal. Meanwhile, let me give you your procedure checks. Oh, thank you. I'd like to be on my way now. Mary, do you want me to give you a ride? Um, I, I... Oh, no, no, no. Um, Mary and I have uh, one more thing to discuss. Uh, please go well. And everything will be taken care of, okay? Thank you. By God's grace. Uh, I'll see you on Friday. Oh, of course. Bye. How much do you want? <laughs> well, I wish I could, but anyway, um, you have gotten or you will get 15 million. Let me get four. Uh oh, oh. <laughs> okay, look. I'm the one who's carrying the baby. I'm the one whose body is going to change, not yours. Besides, you know the risk involving childbirth. Don't worry. They will take you to the best hospitals in town. In fact, the VVIP hospitals. And after that, you go to the gymnasium and get yourself uh, into shape, just as you were. Oga, okay, look, she's giving you one million. Let me give you two. Hmm. Mary, I don't want us to argue about this, okay? Make it three. Okay. Oh, okay. Most importantly, we have to pray for our husband to be in on this. I mean, <laughs> this is good money. Yes, he will be in. I'm definitely sure. Oh, Can't you see what she told? He's so nice. Yeah. Uh, we're waiting for you to come to our room. What are, what are you doing? Why are you going? Why are you dressed up? A new friend of mine just got to town. 
She's stranded somewhere. I need to pick her up. She'll stay with us tonight and continue her journey tomorrow. Um, absolutely. But you haven't you never told me. She called me when I was in the bathroom. Let me go. Um, no. Okay. Everything I told you now is a pack of lies. I don't ever want to lie to you. Instead, I would not tell you anything. I'll wait till when I'm ready to tell you the truth. And um, let me go and pick her. When I get back, I'll tell you everything. Please. I, I need you to trust me one more time this night. When I get back, you will know everything, please. Eh? Mm. You need a baby. I need a baby. Your parents need a grandchild. My parents need a grandchild too. Please, her name is Mimi. This is what I've been up to. So what? She, she's going to give us a baby? I mean, does she have a baby? You would get her pregnant and she will give us a baby. This is business. She will give us the baby, then she disappears. Um, we have talked at length. We understand each other. We're going to be here for everything. This is what I've been up to. Are you thinking right? I think you're joking, seriously. Michael, please. Don't do this because you want to do it. Do it because you want to save me. I'm tired of this heavy burden, please. And who gave you this idea? And nobody. I thought it up myself. Well, well, I'm sure the devil has been thinking for you because you need prayers. <sighs> Maybe you do not know this. Every night while you're sleeping, I'm awake thinking and thinking and dying as I imagine how the cry of a baby will sound in this house. Michael, please. Adora, we need children like most married people do, okay? But I can't do what you're asking. I cannot sleep with another woman. My heart can't take it. And my body can't do something that my heart can't take. I just can't do it! Why? Other men cheat on their wife. It's no big deal this day. Please, my girl. I chose the best girl I could find. She's not bad looking. Adora, just stop. Just, just, just... Stop it! Okay? Stop it! Please. Please, Michael. If you love me, please make me complete in the eyes of people. Please. Please, I beg of you. Michael. 
Sleep in the guest room. Everything will be tomorrow. Why the delay? This is my ovulation period. Let me do it now. Let's do it. Ah, that's a good one. Uh, don't worry. Everything will be very fine tomorrow. Okay. Well, let's go. I don't wake you, don't sleep. Oh, look at your face. Mm. I allowed you to sleep till 10 a.m. because I know what we went through last night and you slept late. Have you agreed? No, no, not this again. Come on. Would you ever forget about this thing? How can I have something to do with someone that I totally don't have any feelings for? This is total business. Your feelings will not be involved. Just so a seed and it will grow in her. No, come on. You should have told me this thing earlier instead of just hitting me like a shock. I know, but I can't. I do not want you to kick against it from the beginning. W what if she has HIV? Then I'll end up infecting the baby as well. Everything is fine. I personally took her for HIV test. She's clean. And what if she had sex last night? Huh? You're both going to get infected because I'll get infected and you in turn will get infected. Everything about life is faith. A little risk. We do our part and leave the rest to God. Okay, fine, where is she? In the guest room. Okay, fine. I'll go there. Because I'm not going to do it here on the matrimonial bed. I know, I know. And everything is going to be alright, eh? Let me go and tell her that you're coming, oh, sweetheart. Please be nice to her. I, I don't want her to get uncomfortable about the old arrangements and change her mind. It was really difficult looking for her. I beg. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, babes. Come on. Have you had your bath this morning? Um, that was the first day. Your tits? Yes. Okay, it's coming. Listen, you don't really need a conversation with me. Just lie down, open your legs, and you'll do it. Then you'll go out, that's it. Yes, I can.
Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. Oh. Excuse me. Myself. I don't know if he wasn't free with me, but he will have sorted this whole thing out before involving me. Counsel, my own you came looking for me. I wasn't looking for anybody's husband to sleep with. What I'm trying to say is, on Monday, how can I catch my check? Because it's not my fault if this whole thing doesn't work out. I made myself available. Mary, take it easy. Don't worry. Maybe he went out to get something. Let me check on him. You have to. You have to check on him. Let him come so we can do that which is important. Because I won't, I won't give you any money. I won't refund you any money back. I will not. Oh. So I should lie down open my leg. I let them open my leg. So don't talk to him. I didn't talk to him. He saw it. He ran. <laughs> Foolish man. I call him to come and start what we started to. What you're about to start. I won't give you any money. I won't refund any money back. I won't give you any money. Oh. Children glad in the home. Which woman have any other choice? We'll do what I'm doing. Which woman was saying that was not to last time in that one? Except the woman who killed herself first. My love, I've killed myself for both of us. To live fully and complete in the eyes of all. Hello, am I a fool? Am I a fool? Why did my you refuse to call me a
Just think of me Oh, when you make love to her Pretend it's me When you make love to her Just think of me I'm the one who loves you like crazy When she's gone Pretend it's me Touch her like you touch me Love her like you love me All through the night Take off her clothes And hold her very, very close I know it's not so easy for you to do Believe me, darling, it's not easy for me to oh. When you make love to her, just think of me I'm the one who loves you like crazy When she's gone, you'll be back in my arms Oh, when you make love to her Think of me when you make love to her. Pretend it's me. Pretend it's me. When you make love to her, just think of me. I'm the one who loves you like crazy. When she is gone, you be back in my arms. Oh, when you make love to her, just think of me. When you make love to her, pretend it's me. When you make love to her, just think of me. I'm the one who loves you like crazy. When she is gone. Back in my arms Oh, when you make love to her Just think of me When you make love to her Pretend it's me When you make love to her Just think of me I'm the one who loves you like crazy She's gone, you be back in my arms Oh, when you make love to her, just think of me When you make love to her, pretend it's me No, 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 She okay. She's fine. She just threw up. She needs to rest. I really hope she's pregnant. I 
think so. Well, we need to be sure. Why don't you take her tomorrow morning to do a pregnancy test? Even if I take her for a pregnancy test, it's too early. You don't see it. Yes, but if they do a blood test, they'll be able to confirm even if she's two weeks pregnant. I've been looking for you everywhere. Are you happy? Confused? Makes feelings. Well, I'm okay. I just need some time to think. I just hope she's really pregnant. That's the main purpose for her coming to this house, right? And it's gonna put an end to me making love to her. It's, it's, it's you I'm worried about. Every time when you bring her to my room and you leave, I, I can see it in your eyes. I can see the frustration. I can see the pain you're going through. Mm -hmm. I don't even think about it. I just shut my mind off. It. I think like a wife of a male gynecologist. That has to put his finger into every woman's private part of the day. He's doing his job. Oh, I wish we didn't have to do this. But since it's for good, I'm up for it. I really hope she's pregnant. I mean, this is all for the good, so mm. it's alright. I just hope she's really pregnant, <coughs> not that she has a fever or anything like that. That's why she's vomiting. Take it easy. Mrs. Mary Fega. The result of the blood pregnancy test is positive. You're pregnant. Ah! Please, God! God, thank you! It's like both of you are best friends. Yes, my sisters. Cousins, actually. She has been married for the past four years without an issue. God, you're wonderful. This time, God has really done it. Yes, he has really done it. God, it's great. <laughs> Mary, we have to go home and celebrate. Eh? Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. As you're celebrating, remember, no alcohol. I know she's pregnant. If she cannot take alcohol, I'll take champagne for her. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What do you want to be? What is going on? 
My wife thinks she's pregnant, but we have to take a pregnancy test first to confirm. Okay. Immediately now. Let us go in. Come for all of us. Now. No, 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 Daddy. I will wait for it not to be true. I don't want to disappoint you all. I will go straight to my personal doctor now. If it's positive, I will call you immediately. But if it's negative, I will have to go home and cry as well. No, no, no. Um, go, man. Whatever the result is, just let us know, okay? Okay. Let me see. It's okay. It's okay. Don't call us whichever way it comes out, okay? Positive or negative? Let me see. God, it's good. God, it's good. Let us not count her eggs before they are hatched. You know, the she ran away from the dining table. I suspected that she was going to be crying down. <laughs> God, it's good. <laughs> There's something I don't quite get. You let us leave my parents' house. Tell them that we were going to the hospital. Then in the car, you convinced me that we should come home with no explanation whatsoever. Now we are home. Tell me, what is it? Sweetheart, I don't need a pregnancy test. I'm not pregnant. Excuse me? <sighs> Everything I did at your parents' place was just a put up act. The vomiting and every other thing. It's just a way of preparing their mind for the big lie you and I will start telling them henceforth concerning the pregnancy and the baby to be born. Uh, uh, sweetheart, I want you to pick up your phone now. Tell them my pity result was positive, that I'm pregnant. My condition has taught me to be a smart woman when it comes to things like this. I'm sorry. Fine, I'll do that. But please, next time, if you want to do something like this, please inform me beforehand, okay? So that I know what you're planning, okay? Please. Shabai be magnified. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> Are you there? Hey, may the Lord be Are you there? Yes, my Hey, <laughs> please come up. Are you here? Are you here? What is it? Good news. <laughs> Your son's wife is finally pregnant. <laughs> Praise the Lord! I'm the lady. I'm telling you, just help me now. God, who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. He turned my life around. He turned my life around. He made my world. Father, we thank you for bringing us together again like this. 
Lord, we give thanks and praise unto your big name. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for giving us life. Amen. We thank you for blessing us Amen. individually and collectively. Hallelujah. Most importantly, Father, we thank you because of my daughter here who is pregnant by your grace. Hallelujah. I ask you to make her strong in her pregnancy. Amen. And I baby that is going to come will start the community well. Yes, yes Father. I give her health. Yes. Give the baby health. Amen. Give the husband good health so as we keep looking after them. Yes. And we thank you, Father, for other women that are pregnant by your grace. you ask. I know. But still, I think it necessary to show my gratitude for saving me all the explanations today. Hmm? I'd love to introduce you to them one of these days because sometimes they come without warning. I can't keep you indoor for a long time. Honestly, it's nothing. You really shouldn't worry about that. But all the same, you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. And um, do you want anything to eat? I have plenty of food in the kitchen. No, 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 no. No, please. You're feeding me too much. I'm getting fat. The baby's getting fat. And that means it's going to be difficult for it to pop out. I know. Um, all the same, can I get you some foods? Better. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Anytime you don't feel like going out or you can't get to the food in the kitchen. Hmm? This is much. And I have them. Um, Multivitamin, blood builder, and cashew. Mm -hmm. This handbag is specially for you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I told you you'll be waiting to give you. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> this is just the beginning. Hmm? I know you're free in this house, but I want you to be more freer. If you want anything, tell me. Or tell my husband. I need to be provided. Right, of course. <laughs> um, I, I was thinking that perhaps now that I'm pregnant already, I could get an apartment of my own so I could have privacy. And then after I give birth, you can have the baby while I go away. Um, I don't think that is a good idea. I want you to stay in this house so that we can look after you very well. Eh? After the birth of the baby, then you can do anything. Don't worry, I'm up to the tax. <laughs> okay, if you say so. <laughs> Thank you so much. Mm. So I'll see you later. All right. Sure. <laughs> Good morning. How are you and the baby doing?
is she staring? She's pregnant and sad. A pregnant woman has constant mood swing. A pregnant woman needs sex. She craves for sex with the man that got her pregnant. You need to sleep with her. That's part of the sacrifice we need to do to get the baby in one piece. This is scary. The more the days pass, the more I wonder if this will end well. For all you know, she might turn into a snake and hold us to ransom. You see? That is the more reason why you in particular have to give her a sense of belonging. You need to sleep with her. You have not slept with her since you got pregnant. She might begin to feel used. But she was paid well. How much? Darling, chicken chin for what we are asking her to do? This is a joke. How is it a joke? You have slept with her not once, not twice till she got pregnant. So what difference does it make if you sleep with her one more time or so many times? Just keep at it and do it till she delivers. And if I tell you to do it again, know that your wife Adoma is a mad woman. God help us. Amen. Are you? I'm fine. Good afternoon. Is mommy at home? Yes, auntie. She's just seven. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. There's something inside for me. Okay, sir. Hold it well, though. Okay, sir. Good morning, Mama. Good morning. Good morning. You're welcome, eh? Eh? So you know people bought all that one for me. Oh. Hey, there is hardly a day you will visit without bringing something for me. Hmm? Wow. Thank you so much, eh? You're welcome. Okay. Do you want to come empty-handedly? I will not even allow it. It will not make the mistake of coming empty-handedly. Not even now that you are my father, my mother, both rolled in one. Hmm? <laughs> you are so precious to me. Okay, man. To you? I thought it was to us. I thought we were one. If I say me, I mean us. Hmm? Are we not one again? Of course you are one. Hey, Adora. Oh. Hey, please, can I see you? Immediately. 
Hey, Michael, just I want to discuss something very private with oh. my daughter. No. We no. meant we meant talk, you know. No. <laughs> we'll soon be back. No. Um, Don't cry. My mother is not taking me away. I'll soon go back in a twin. <laughs> Adora, Adora, Ogeni. Uh, what is this? Why are you wearing something this tight? Eh? What is this juice trouser doing around your waist, Adora? Mommy. Oh, you, you want to strangulate your unborn child? You want to suffocate the child? Because I beg you in the name of God. From today henceforth, no more wearing of something tight around your pelvic area. I don't want to say this before your husband so that he doesn't feel that you're being careless with his unborn child. And mom, or don't you want to give birth to your child in one piece? Biko, I beg you in the name of God. I don't want anything to happen to you in this condition. Hmm? Biko, you have to be careful. Be careful with yourself and with the baby. Hmm? Or you want to stay around, let me be taking care of you myself. That would mean bringing my husband to stay here with us. You know I can't stay one day without seeing my husband. Don't worry, mommy. I'll be very careful with all your points. Uh, uh, means I want to have this baby in one piece now. Uh, hmm. Well, if you say so. <laughs> well, let's go back before your husband will start missing you. Okay. Ada and Ganga. <laughs> You're really glowing. This pregnancy looks so good on you. Hmm? Hey. 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 Um, I hope you do rub her stomach. My dear, you see, we have to keep rubbing and massaging the stomach, whether the pregnancy is big or not. That's a way of telling the unborn child that when he arrives, he's going to be smothered with love and attention. <laughs> hey, hey, my dear, you see this thing called pregnancy? It is not easy. It's not even easy living with a pregnant woman. Because she always have mood swings. She will mark unnecessarily and make stupid demands that we consider very, very unnecessary. But you have to tolerate her, my dear. You have to tolerate her and continue to be the loving, caring husband that you've always been. I hope my husband is taken into the lesson. Of course. Of course. Anyway, mom, I trust my husband. When it comes to loving and showing affection, you won't find my husband lacking. <laughs> of course, I trust him. I trust him. Um, by the way, have you registered for Antimental? And how old is the pregnancy? 13 weeks, ma'am. 13 weeks? Oh. <laughs> 13 weeks. And by 18 weeks, you start noticing some, you know, bones. You know, this pregnancy thing, some women don't, you don't even get to know until they are like four to six months pregnant. While in some, two months, just two months, and the stomach is shooting out like this. <laughs> hey. Um, if you don't know any good hospital, I'll introduce you to one that has a good gynecologist. We, we have a good hospital and a doctor gynecologist. Mm, and which hospital is that? Oh, that would be Toronto Hospital. Mm. The gynecologist there is a very good friend of ours and especially his. Yes, he um, is my personal doctor. He has been there for me all these years of childlessness. He has been giving me drugs and helping to find a solution. Oh, in that case, you're in safe hands. Total Hospital is a good hospital. It's a very good hospital. Hey, God. Father Lord, I thank you. I am so happy. I am the happiest woman on earth. I mean, who wouldn't be? Who wouldn't be? Four years, four whole years that my daughter got married. No childbirth. No pregnancy. No, not even a miscarriage to prove that my daughter is fatal. That's why you see me talking and talking and talking. I'm so happy. Hey, Father Lord, thank you. Thank you. Bless you, Lord. If my people would have thought that we have bad luck in our family, you would remove this shame from us. Hey, Father Lord, I thank you. Hey, what do you mean? I'm going to be a grandmother. <laughs> oh, Chimo. And my children, you eat now. Hmm? I instructed the house house to start making food as soon as Adora called me that people were in your way. Hmm? Okay. 
Okay. Let me check how far they've gone with the preparation. I bet okay. By the way, they're making their rice and chicken stew with green peas and sliced carrots. I hope you like it. <laughs> Mom, I like it. That is one of my best dishes. You know what I grew up liking. <laughs> <laughs> that case, I'll soon be back, eh? Okay. Mm. What is wrong? I had a dream about me and my mother where she was taking me for Antinatal. I woke up and thought about all that happened yesterday. How she was advising me on being pregnant. And how she was advising you on how to take care of me. Thinking I was actually pregnant. That makes me cry. I wish all this was real. Baby, the baby will be my baby. I know. That's my only consolation. But still, I think about all he said yesterday. How many more times that is going to happen. That really sobers me up. <laughs> Don't worry, okay, baby. Everything is going to be alright. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> okay? Mary. I'm trying to tell you something. Uh, okay. One second. Good morning, Mary. Why are you dressed up? I don't cack inside. I don't cack. I don't tire. I didn't bother. I'm not going to. Um, okay. So, uh, where are you going to? Go check out Galuk. From Galuk, I'll use my eye. Just I see town fish. Then come back. You want to go away? Huh? With this pregnancy? So that people will see that you are pregnant and then they'll start wondering where the baby is after you're giving birth. Nobody will not pregnant, sir. Look at you. I'll be inside the car. Only when I get to Galuk, please, I'll come down. Galuk will see me. But from Galuk, the rest first, I'll cack inside the car. They look. I don't tire, let me agree with this. Not tell me say I'll call it prisoner, I'll call sleep, wake up, chop, sleep, wake up, chop. No follow. Okay, Mary, let me join you. It is dangerous for you to go out with the baby. The city is rough and anything can happen. Gee, shame me. Don't forget where you see me. I'll be small picking. I don't see ruggedity, I don't mix up ruggedity, I don't know ruggedity, I don't shake down ruggedity, I don't live rugged men. Nothing they happen. Forget. Bone. If you give me the car, give me the car. If you not give me the car, give me the taxi. Can you give me the car, please? Okay. Good morning. Hi. Would you beg me? Beg me. I'm not in prison with you, it's stopping me from going out. I'm just concerned for your safety and that of the baby. Thank you, Auntie.
Pretend it's me